Hi, this is volume one of the market update. I'm really excited to be bringing these to you guys in video now, and there's gonna be lots of great stuff that we're gonna cover here. So let's just start with the highlights for what's happening in the new market real estate market. As of last month, at the end of June, there was 170 active listings still on the market. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit more about what that actually means. There was 95 sales for the month with an average sale price of $1,143,875. Median price for the month was $1,090,000. Now with those active, sale, active listings and the number of sales, that means a month of inventory, which equals the number of active listings divided by the number of sold listings equals 1.79. Still quite low. We're actually gonna get into a little bit more about that in a minute. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about what all that volume means. So the active listings as well as the number of solds. The active listings at 170 active listings is really low for where we are right now. I really expected to see well over 200 listings for right now, especially with everything that's going on in the world and rising interest rates. But for whatever reason, uh, inventory is still remaining quite low. And actually at the time of this filming, which is on July 7th, inventory hasn't even really gone up that much. I mean, I think we've added maybe about 10 more listings uh, to the inventory count. So again, really low. Uh, and that's what I believe is helping to keep the prices fairly high considering everything that's going on in the market. Um, the number of solds at 95, that is actually the lowest number of solds ever recorded in June since the year 2000. The, uh, the June of 2000, there was 94 sales. Every June since, there's been more than 95 sales. So that was an incredibly slow month for sales. And it's going to be interesting to see where that leaves us. Um, now, with all that said, months of inventory, as I mentioned before, 1.79 months of inventory. So it would take 1.79 months at 95 sales per month to sell off all the inventory. Now that figure uh, is actually very low. It's technically the lowest that uh, for all months of inventory in Upper York region. Uh, I'm not really tracking Markham, Vaughn, and um, I'm not really tracking Markham, Vaughn, and uh, Richmond Hill, uh, but we are focusing on Upper York region. So Aurora, New Market, East School and Barry King, Richard Stoville, and Georgina. Um, at 1.79, as I said, it's the lowest months of inventory. Uh, Brad, in, or even tracking Bradford. Bradford's sitting, sitting at 2.73, um, which the next lowest to New Market would be Aurora, 2.61 months of inventory. Uh, they had only 71 sales last month, which, you know, again, lower than New Market. Um, uh, the highest sitting right now for months of inventory in Upper York Region is King Township at uh, 6.1, but it's a different game there in King. The average price is significantly higher. You know, last we checked, there was like 25 listings over $5 million. It's, uh, you know, it's a very different market than what we have in New Market. So, uh, yeah, months of inventory for New Market, very low still. Um, you know, we're going to kind of track that. I think we're going to start to see that change a little bit. As inventory does pick up, I'm sure it's going to pick up with everything that's going on right now. But uh, as of right now, it still remains fairly slow. When it comes to prices, this is kind of something that everyone wants to talk about. Um, the average price in New Market at a million one forty three eight seventy five. It is down about twenty one percent from the peak in February. Um, so I mean that's significant from the peak, but. That peak number in February was a ludicrous number. And I'm just gonna pull up the data here from February, uh, in February, sorry, there was a 32% increase from the year before. So that's not a number that's sustainable. So to see that retract a little bit is not unusual and I'm not really concerned about it. Because in fact, the average price in June of 2022 was 5% higher than it was in June of 2021. Uh, the average price is up $55,000. The median price was up $67,000. So uh, again, nothing to really worry about uh, as far as um, prices go. Uh, but you know, if your neighbor sold in February and hopefully they closed because a lot of them didn't, um, you know, there's a good chance we're not gonna see those numbers 
uh, just it's a very different market that we're in now. And, uh, you know, the reality is set in that th those numbers were kind of artificial. So, so anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of where the average price sits. Again, it, it's up from last year, but it's certainly down from the peak. Uh, where we're seeing that the most, though, is in the higher end. Uh, when it comes to the market segments, the price segments, there was zero homes over two and a half million dollars sell in new market, um, which, you know, that's a big price point for new market. Um, there, there was only, um, there's only five homes sell over $2 million. So, uh, as opposed to 14 in February. So big change, uh, in the higher end. Uh, and then we're certainly seeing a large shift in the, you know, the, the prices, uh, segments below a million are, are on fire. Of course, uh, 30, there was 30, 30 sales. So it's about 30% of the, uh, of the sales all happened under $1 million. Um, anything under, uh, between 750 and a million, you know, those things just fly off the shelf right now, regardless of where they are. It's just a, it's a price affordability thing. So, um, you know, we're, we're tracking the price segments, something that uh, we have to dig into a little deeper. Uh, not a lot of people are looking at that, but we're certainly focusing on it. You know, as of right now, there's 22 homes listed between 1.5 and 1.75, uh, as where there was only five homes sell in that price range last, uh, last month. So, uh, there's kind of lots of things happening in the market, especially in that higher end that, you know, we kind of have to be a little bit. Okay. Now, as far as housing types go. Uh, in June, there was a, at the end of June, I should say, there was 122 detached homes listed for sale. Uh, there was 62 sales in the month. All right. Uh, the average price of a detached home was a million two ninety seven one oh six. Um, that was, uh, just under a 5% change from last year. But again, you know, it's well down from the, the peak of February when the average price of a detached was a million six. Uh, Semi-detached, there's 22 homes active at the end of the market with 11 sales. Average price for the sales was 913636 up 14.5% from June of 2021, but down significantly from $1,180,000 in February. Townhomes, 15 active listings at the end of the month. There was 10 sales during the month. Average price of $929,000 uh, down from $1,200,000. Uh, but still up 7.6% from last year. Uh, condo sales, condo apartments, we had five active at the end of the month. There were six sales for the month. Uh, 645,000 was the average sale price. That's actually up 17.9% from June of 2021. It's a big increase from a year ago. The condo market is still pretty frothy. There's only a very small number of listings, five listings active right now with there was being six sales last month. So again, that's a very active market. There's not a lot of inventory for condo apartments in new market, but we do see the older demographic kind of focusing on that. So that's uh, something again, we're really watching for and we're welcoming the new condo units that are coming online soon. Uh, condo apart, condo townhomes, there was uh, six active at the end of the month and there was six sales for the month. Again, the month of inventory is zero or sorry, I should say one. Yeah, sorry, the yeah, month of inventory is one. It, took, it would take one month to sell all the inventory up. Uh, the average price for a, count, a condo townhome was 838,000. Uh, that was up 17% from a year ago. That's the housing types. All right, so the last part I wanna talk about in this report is our communities of New Market. There are nine communities in New Market, residential communities, there's actually 10, Treb communities, but one of them is an industrial park. But of the nine um, residential communities, um, the one that had the most sales was uh, Bristol London Road. Um, the average sale price of a million seventy-five. Um, the months of inventory for Bristol London Road is actually less than one. Uh, the neighborhood, the community that has the highest months of inventory, is going to be Woodland Hill. Um, of the tw there's 25 active listings there right now, and there was only seven sales in the month of June. Um, the average asking price right now is a million three twenty, as where the average sale price was a million one thirty seven. So there's a big difference between the average asking price and the, the sale price. 
So there's probably some sellers in that neighborhood that are going to have to make some price adjustments if they want to get sold. Um, but you know, the bulk of the sales are happening in the, you know, the sub 1.25 price point. And those commu the communities that have most of those homes are going to be Bristol London Road, uh, Armitage, Central Newmarket actually had the, uh, the lowest average price. Uh, Central Newmarket includes Old Newmarket, where you've got some really expensive homes, but then you also have Quaker Hill, which has some homes that are going to be in the seven to a million price point, depending on the level of finish. So, um, you know, again, there were 16 sales there at months of inventory in Central New Market 1.94. So that's the market report. Um, if you enjoyed that, I want to see the comments below. And if you don't, I don't want to see them. But uh, if you have any questions about what's going on in the real estate market and how that affects you, reach out to us. Um, you can reach us through our social channels, email, phone, whatever works for you. Uh, we'd like to chat a little bit about the real estate market and get a sense on what that means for you and your family. So if you have any questions, again, this is Darcy Toombs with the Toombs Team Real Estate Group and look forward to seeing you next time.